Welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share with you how to braise pork cheeks in a beer. We serve them up as a Mexican style wrap, but of course you can do whatever you want when you serve them up. Here are some of the ingredients we'll need. Of course the pork cheeks, they are really in the center here. And first of all we have to remove the sinew that sits on each pork cheek. We do this using a sharp knife and by holding on firmly to the sinew with your one hand, you can sort of drag the knife down the sinew and remove it completely from the pork cheek. This is necessary to do because the sinew is not something you want to eat. It's uh, tough and it's uh, also gonna ruin the whole meat uh, experience. In neutral tasting canola oil, uh, we can heat up uh, the pan and start to brown off these uh, pork cheeks. So we'll do this on both sides. We don't want to cook the meat until the center. We just want to brown off the surfaces. And we salt and pepper the cheeks. That's very important to get some good taste into that meat. And we just flip them over once we see that they are nice and golden brown like you see here. Give them the same amount of time on the other side, take them off and then use the same pan to saute vegetables. We've just added a little bit more oil to the pan here. So these vegetables are some red onions cut into thin slices and also some carrots. We just want to sort of give this a little bit of a heat up on the pan to get some sweetness out of both vegetables. And then after a little while we can add garlic which we just put directly onto the pan so that it opens up and a lot of that delicious flavor can come out. We add cumin and dried oregano. And the cumin here is kind of a little Mexican twist as well to the braising because we do want this to be a little bit of a Mexican dish. We add light beer to the pan. It could be a lager beer. We just recommend you to use a lighter one instead of like a brown beer. We add sugar and we add bay leaves to the whole sauce and let it simmer just a bit before transferring all of this to the clay cooker. We will be using a Romer top clay cooker for this uh, braising. And first of all, we've placed the pork cheeks in the bottom. After that, we can pour the sauce with the vegetables on top. And it's important to do it in this order because you want the vegetables to lie on top of the pork cheeks and in that way make them nice and soft and braised after the, the cooking time is over. So on this clay cooker we put on the lid and put it into a cold oven and in the second that the uh, clay cooker has come into the oven, what we want to do is turn up the heat to 150 degrees Celsius, that's 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave it in there for three and a half hours. And it's important to start off in a cold oven. We have a video that shows you everything on how to use a clay cooker that we'll link to here, so you'll know why. Um, but this is the result after three and a half hours. So we have delicious pork cheek meats and we also have a beautiful sauce that can definitely be used. And this meat, as you can see, it's tender and it's gonna be really great. We just recommend you to salt the cheeks a little bit here before serving them. And what we did was we heated up some tortilla pancakes and then separated the meat from the pork cheeks using two forks. And that way it's easier to distribute the meat all over the wrap. And these pork cheeks, they have a beautiful taste of beer, as you can imagine. They've braised for a long time in this sauce, in which the main component was beer. And we show you here how we serve it up in a wrap with a bit of avocado cream, some salsa, some pickled red onions, etc. But actually, you could have just as well served it up uh, the more traditional way, using the sauce, maybe with some mashed potatoes on the side. In our case, we saved the sauce for later and we could thicken it and serve it up another day with uh, mashed potatoes and more of the pork cheeks. This is a great way to enjoy the pork cheeks. It's a, a little bit of a lighter way that we have chosen here. Instead of using a brown beer, we've used a lighter beer. We've used some different spices that makes it a little bit more Mexican. We served it up in a way that is also different from traditional. But you can do what you want. The process of braising these pork cheeks is the same. Thanks a lot for watching MTB Cooking. We really enjoy having you here with us. Please give this video a like and we'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.